Choose myself. There's three changes for Aloha. Neil Parry starts in goals in defence. It's Scott Taggart, Andy Graham, Liam Dick, and Nicky Jameson and Lucas Williamson. Going up the park, Kevin Colley, Innes Murray, Ray Grant, Stefan Scugo and Innes Cameron on the bench for the Wasps. is Reese Willison, Liam Buchanan, Lee Connolly, Robert Thompson, Adam Brown, Eden Lynch and Cameron O'Donnell. For the visitors with Wednesday's playoff game in mind, they make seven changes. It's Cammy Gill, Josh Edwards, Ewan Murray, Kyle McDonald, Kevin O'Hara, Ewan Henderson, Declan McManus, Lewis McCann, Paul Allen, Kerr McEnroy, Paul Watson... And on the bench for the Pars is Owen Fon Williams, Aaron Comroy, Craig Whiten, Vistas Gasputis, Lewis Mayo, Scott Banks, and Matty Todd. On good form himself, 11 goals for the season will kick us off this evening. He'll be hoping to repeat the, <laughs> the feat that he had last time out in this fixture. Yeah, I was hoping you wouldn't remind me of that. <laughs> uh, I love Kevin, he was brilliant for Alawa, but I wanted to put my fist through the screen on that day. <laughs> I thought I would get it out of the way early, so we don't need to talk about it. Yeah, you know when he that. does it, so I think he'll enjoy it tonight. Yeah, it's Taggart with the ball, and it's not a bad looking ball, and it's fallen to Williamson, and he can't quite replicate the wonder strike against David. Transfer in a smurry. I think it's moving a little bit too far out to shoot. He does fancy the effort as team and into the hand. And he does fancy it as over the bar though. Side for Dunfermline, the first one of the game. It's not a bad looking ball to the back post and Ewan Murray's got a free header there, it's wide of the mark, but it's not put good deliveries up. into the box. And it's another decent looking ball and again Murray's got a free header and it's bouncing about the box but it's cleared out to Henderson and Neil Parry tips that one over the bar for another corner kick but Taggart does find Graham this time, he flicks it into the area, it's bouncing about, it's falling to Ray Grant and it's comfortably over the bar, Gill looks long. McDonald does the aim, but Williamson reads it well. McEnroe picks up the McEnroe even picks up the loose ball and he fancies the shot and it's not too far away. And there's a loose ball there from Liam Dick and Kevin O'Hara pounces on it. A little bit of room there for Henderson on the left. Picks it up, goes onto his right foot, and it's deflected, and it's deflected in favour of Neil Parry and out for a corner kick. Look at trying to prove a point to the manager, I think. Corner is to the edge of the box. Alan shots right into the hands of Neil Parry. A wee scare there, but it does collect it eventually. Not really something you see from a centre forward of that size. It's a good wee clip in there from Murray to find Colley. Thinks about the shot. He's just delayed it a little bit too long there. I think he was caught in two or three mines there. Right, the I think he did the right thing, just had it in charge, but all, unfortunately the Dunfermline defender read it really well. But uh, no, I think that's what I'd have done as well in his position, to be fair. Here is Taggart, again that ball comes in looking for Cameron and he's just a, a yard off the pace there. But <laughs> <laughs> and it is uh, Skugel that picks up the loose ball and he's been dispossessed though and it's done firmly with Declan McManus and it's just wide of the post. Nearly an early goal here in the second half for Dunfermline. Probably I would imagine. Uh, somebody might have leaked it out, but um, I'm sure it's not. They probably didn't think they were going to get uh, third place tonight anyway, so probably not. Trying to make it exciting, Brian. Ah, sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, could be high drama, you know, three goals, three goals back. You know. <laughs> but here is Ennis Cameron, might fancy the effort, and oh. it's off the post, and it's out for a corner kick, and that nearly sparked the game into life. Keep saying it, you know, because something happened there, you know what I mean? No, it was a great shot by Cameron. Uh, looked in all the way. Uh, came off the inside of the post. Corner taken short and it's into the box and it's into the back of it. Liam Dick celebrates. Alawa take the lead. He's got some sort of connection on it from the Innes Murray cross. And Alawa ahead to the start of the second half. He's had 
some of the games he's looked pretty pretty solid and good, but um, yeah, he's kind of been in and out, and probably, as you say, uh, didn't hit the expectations he probably hoped for. Williamson clips it into Cameron and does well to take it down to the chest, knocks it back to Skugel. He goes down, it's a bit theatrical there yeah. from Stefan Skugel. How's he going to get out of this? <laughs> Big man always does, always does. I came a little bit earlier tonight and was watching him in the kind of passing drills before it and he's just such a joy to watch. He's so technically <laughs> gifted as well. Here is Scott Taggart, does well to get the cross in. And it's to the back stick. Dennis Cameron, he's claiming very strongly for a corner kick. Cameron. It is just McEnroy will take it. The bodies are up for the pars and it's whipped in. And it's flicked in by McCann. Andy Graham reads it well, bouncing about, and it's Murray that gets the effort away. And there's a corner kick for him to defend. And it is Williamson that's gone over to take it. And it's not a bad looking ball. And Cameron heads it across, and it's a great save there from Gill to tip it over for another corner. I thought he got a touch on so that. Did I. So did I. <laughs> but it's uh, a goal kick. Here is McCann, he's got acres of space here in the Alloa half. And he's looked to slip in Scott Banks and he's just taken a tumble. I don't think he's ever really found his feet and going to make that. We, we came with unveiling, me and John Spence, and the thing that annoyed me was that he complimented John Spence's Harrington jacket and said nothing about my great gear. <laughs> so he got himself off to a bad start with me. But no, it just seems like yesterday we were on the pitch with him at, at the unveiling. Scott Banks fancies the effort oh. from distance and it's... The third one of the evening that's just past Neil Paddy's post. A piece of goal mouth action for <laughs> the Wasps. I know. <laughs> We're only 11 minutes away from a cl second clean sheet of the season as well. Oh, things are looking up. Things are looking up. Yeah, it would be a second clean sheet of the season. It would be another win for Alloa. It would be Peter Grant's 20th win in his tenure. And something that I'm sure he would like to do on his final game. It's a good save there from Cammy Gill, and it nearly was the second goal there from Alloa tonight. Neil Parry goes long. The referee blows for full time here at the Indo Drill Stadium. It's finished Alloa 1, Dunfermline Athletic nil. A goal just at the start of the second half from Liam Dick, we believe is the difference. It wasn't much of a game tonight. It's a bit of a damp squib for both teams, but it's the final game of Alloa's three-year stint in the championship. They've gone out on a high. It's also the final game in Peter Grant's stint. 70 games for the manager, and it is his 20th win this evening, so it's nice to see Peter with a smile on his face at the touchline. Alloa's season's over. We do finish in 10th position. We'll be playing League One football next season. It's going to be an interesting couple of weeks ahead for the Wasps.